Welcome guys, hope you are doing well. I am back with another video uh, and this video is going to be the continuation part of the previous video uh, where we have learned how to upload a single file to the cloud storage. Uh, and you guys can see on the right side of the screen that I have the same UI that I have used in the last video, right? So if you have not watched the last video, I recommend to go here and watch it again because if you are new directly on this video you will maybe not get all the concept that I am going to explain in this video so in this video uh, we will be learning how to upload more than one file to the cloud storage at one click right so uh, in this video uh, sorry in this screen I have created another button uh, that is basically showing multiple files if I click on this button uh, I got redirected to the next screen uh, and the UI is little bit changed you guys can see the same button but here it is saying no images found and uh, again a text editing or the text field and upload button uh, let's see if I click on this button I will be able to select more than one file suppose one two and three and I have selected and you guys can see these three are showing up here now if I write something on this section oh shit I got a render flow so let me fix this first if I click on this and render flow comes up then we have to do is wrap our column with a single child scroll view right this is going to be a good solution for this single child scroll view and yeah it basically fixed that issue uh, but one thing is uh, our view is not centered now so we have to give it hard coded uh, size box size box of height 50 right so it should a uh, little bit down okay now it is looking good uh, if I type something over here like my stories and I click on this upload button so these three images need to be uploaded to the cloud storage and this text need to be uh, get and stored in the uh, Firebase storage right so now let's get implemented first of all uh, everything is very clear I have get multiple images and this is the function that is able to get images from the gallery and convert it to the list that I have created uh, list of file is images okay the thing that we have to do is on upload uh, let's see what we have uh, this is the function that I have wrote in the last video right so I'm going to modify this function and I have already modified so I just translated uh, file so now this function accept a file and next thing that we have to do is we have to remove this code okay and we have to call uh, upload task dot when complete okay so when uploading is completed then we will be able to get instance of uh, task snapshot okay and on this task snapshot I will be going to get a URL of the string so string uh, URL equal to task snapshot dot reference dot get download url so this is how i will be able to get url of the downloaded image ok not here uh, ok this is uh, future so i have to be await here and once once we get the url i just have to return this url ok uh, now I have to do it future of string okay this that's good let's see we are not calling this function from anywhere so we have to call this function on the upload button this is the button upload and here we have a list of files right for this I have to uh, iterate over all the images so my images is stored inside images list so I have to call image uh, for int i equal to 0 means I am starting from 0 and i is less than images dot length ok and i plus plus 
so this will iterate throughout the list and then what I will be doing is upload file and here I will provide the file images at current index okay and here I will wait for it because this function is async oh sorry we have to uh, register it over here and it will give us a URL as we know string URL and then we will add this URL to the list another list I am going to create over here is list of string download URLs initially it will be empty for every iteration we will be uh, adding this URL to the download URL list dot add URL okay so when this all has been done then we have to do a check if i equal to images dot length minus one so basically this indicates that if this is the very last iteration then we have to use the method for storing uh, our entries as <coughs> we have used in the last video store entry so i'm going to call this function store entry and now i'm going to modify this function uh, store entry is now accepting a list of string image urls okay and the thing is name is still coming from the uh, name controller name controller dot text and this is not image url but this is download urls okay guys so now let's see the result uh, I'm going to refresh it or restart it. Uh, let's open the logs. I'm going to click on the multiple file. So we are in the multiple uploading uh, function of screen. And let's click on this button. Okay, now let's, let's upload first three images to the cloud storage. I have select all the three images and I'm going to name it my stories right sorry for a spelling mistake stories and when I click on this upload it will store not in the collection of user but in the collection of stories now let's click on upload okay no auth token for request this means something is happening uh, this typically indicate that our file is now uploading to the server as you guys can see we are getting these uh, logs continuously uh, if we read this w stays slash storage util so this typically indicates that work is on the way let's see if we have any successful message okay uh, yeah you guys can see success data is stored successfully uh, and let's check it out in the server itself okay let's go to the storage so we should be able to see four images because one is on the previous video and uh, three this and yeah guys we have more than this because I have tried uh, in the last videos too let's check it out in the file store there should be a story collection with yeah it is with a document inside yeah guys so all the images are stored in cloud storage successfully and we have retrieved their URLs and stored in a cloud file store document so this is how you guys can store more than one uh, media files in cloud storage and refer it in cloud fire store thank you so much guys for watching the video please subscribe if you have not subscribed thank you